Welcome back, everybody, to Phoenix Wright Justice for All Blind. Dude, I'm sorry that we had to cut it in the middle of the courtroom, but I was like, uh oh, this is about to get off the hook. I know that it is. So, let's go ahead and see if I'm right about certain things. I just met Von Karma's daughter, I guess? Man, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but pleasantly surprised. However, it looks like she's gonna give us a run for our money, which I'm a little bit worried about. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. So we just heard some testimony, but unfortunately, like, I don't think I could find, like, a way to, like, weasel in there and make something out of it. So now I'm not sure what to do. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? I guess not. That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes. <laughs> Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? I mean, we have to, don't we? We absolutely have to. It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. I don't care. See? Just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I know that her accent is not German. Like, it's like not anything, really. It's a mishmash of crap. But I'm very sorry. I hope that it's okay. You would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do now, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. No. This is your final- oh. Wait, I, they're not telling me to actually do that though, are they? I don't think so. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. No, I've got to get her off the hook. Oh, surely they're not going to get me into this trap, right? No, not guilty. No, I'm sticking with it. I'm going for it. If we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to a murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed, and she'd be labeled a murderer. Yeah, even if she didn't mean to. We can't do that. We can't let that happen. Exactly. Phoenix, exactly. Me and Phoenix on the same page as always. Your Honor. Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. Oh, ow. Oh, girl. A little lower, please. You... You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright, detective. Oh, detective. No. <laughs> I thought that was a run-on sentence. She's actually talking to the detective after she finished the first sentence. Maybe. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Okay. Uh, um, yes, sir, sir. Uh, it's ma'am, actually. Now, see here. Proceedings are run by... Oh, my God. She's hitting the judge, too. It just doesn't even matter with this woman. Oh, oh, yes, of course, go ahead. Oh, man, she's used to having dudes just at her beck and call on her on their feet, man. Jeez, this is crazy. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Like what? Oh, crap. Of course. All right, what's this about evidence? Because we already got the knife and the gun. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is a costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Yeah, I know. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. <sighs> so, this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate at a crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Can I get that, please? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at that. I, although I doubt there's anything we can really do. Let's take a look. Shoot. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Clothes Maya was wearing at the time of the murder, there are blood splatters all over. Is that all? Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, fine. Yes. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could the situation get any worse? I think we're gonna have to, like, press testimony to find, like, the tiniest of loopholes to do this. Ha! What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to soak off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Don't talk about my legs. Or my tail. Please stop calling me by my full name, it's disturbing. Well, what else is she supposed to do? She's very proper. Alright, here we go. Right. Well... Sorry, pal, but there's even more crew named pieces. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna press all of this, even if it seems worthless. We've gotta find something. Why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? Uh, you're kinda scary today, you know, pal. Come now, Mr. Wright. 
There's no need for that kind of attitude. Attitude? Wait, hold the phone. You got this girl up here whipping everybody and you can't even stand one question from me? Oh, I don't think so. Now I'm getting sassy now. Judge Judy is on my side. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, just please stop glaring at me like that. Oh, this judge, I swear to God. Gotta love him. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. Talk to me about it. Say any anything I can grab you on? Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya. She's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Wait. How can she... What? How can there... How can there be two? Are there two of them? <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> um... Wait a minute now. Hmm. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? Oh, I, I guess they're in, uh, I guess they're insinuating that she has multiple? As you can see, it's covered in blood. Well, I mean, I, yes, I can see that. Is there anything else? This blood on the costume. Lab results show it's the victim's blood. Yeah, you could have said that earlier. Christ. Hmm, so there is blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good, ugh. Hmm. Were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Oh, yeah. Uh, well... What you gonna say? If you must change the topic, since a good detective here must testify again. But, too bad. Not enough time. Time to move on. Uh-oh. She's deflecting. What's wrong? Wait, was I onto something there? Was there another piece of evidence regarding the clothes? Like, was something wrong with it? Uh, yes. Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. No, she's not. She's got that pussy pass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never mind that. Uh, no, I'm gonna press further. Absolutely. Th that's a clue that something's going on here. Why is Ms. Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. Yeah, she's hiding something for sure. <gasps> look, 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 look! There's a hole in it, isn't there? I didn't see that the first time. It's right there. Is that a bullet hole? So the... What? So it was fired at her. At least one of the shots. Dude! It's right there. Was that there before and I just didn't notice? Oh no, I've got to pay more attention. Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it. <laughs> in case you didn't get it before. No, 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 no. It's okay, Phoenix. There's one little thing. We'll get it. This has to be it. Okay, so we've got- that must be the bullet that went through the screen as well, because it would probably be around that size and an area, if she was kneeling and stuff. Go through the sleeve and go to the back of the screen, right? That has to be it. Actually, there's something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Oh, she's getting ready. Get that whip ready, girl. I'm gonna use it on you. Where is this problem you're talking about? <laughs> it's on your head. <laughs> It's in your head. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Here we go. The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. What do I do? Just like, yeah, okay. Oh, this is very finicky. Excuse me. Present. Right there. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. A, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Maybe you should have looked at it. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Did you actually just smell the bloody coat? Okay, well. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. Are they holding things from Gumshoe on purpose? Or is he just... silly? <laughs> Maybe he just didn't notice. I don't want to get too conspiracy already. A hole that smells of gunpowder? It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Oh my, what? <laughs> oh, don't look at this, children. Because I'm 12, I thought that said something else. Never mind. <laughs> Phoenix never found the hole. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. Oh, here we go. What you gonna say about this now, sassy pants? Order, order! This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Go ahead. Now it says there's a bullet hole, yeah? Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. Oh, you getting upset over there, darling. Don't worry about it. You're, you're beautiful when you're upset, so I'm perfectly okay with it. Wait, what? Is she actually smiling? She's got something else up her sleeve, don't she? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. 
continue with your testimony that just now was a fluke, nothing more. What you gonna do? Get her, Phoenix. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. While I agree it's a mistake on the part of the police, what Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. No, it doesn't, because now you know that the gun wasn't originally- It was fired at her. What are you talking about? I'm about to kick some ass in here. God, this gets me all riled up. This <laughs> just like the first one. I'm already riled up about it. Detective Gumshoe, please continue with your testimony. All right, what are you gonna say now, darling? Defendant attacked and killed a person without a doubt was not fighting back. Well, I'm still gonna press this because honestly, he wasn't fighting back? How do you know if he was or wasn't? We could find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Except when he shot at her. What about that? So, did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder changed drastically. Ugh, we're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. I think you do. That Von Karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with this testimony alone. I have to somehow find a critical contradiction and then I'll have her. No, I think we've got this. Sorry, pal, but there's even more criminal piece of evidence. Mm-hmm. This is the costume the defendant was wearing time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who- No. I know what I have to do. I bet this is what I have to do, actually. It's not time for the screen yet, although I think that's gonna come into play, but what if I present the costume? Is this gonna work? Because I have to- I have to prove to him... That there, that there was a fight. How did she get the bullet hole in her own sleeve if she shot the gun? I hope this is right. Am I just trying to reprove it to him? It seems stupid to have to do that. It seems like a dumb loophole. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Yeah? <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I think we just did it. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? Eh, oh, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is this what it means to not fight back? Did he actually try to shoot, like, the spirit inside Maya's body? Is that really what transpired? That's crazy. I wonder if we're gonna hear about that more. I mean, I hope we do. Ah, oh, you're right. It would seem that way. If the victim tried to shoot the defendant- How did you guys not get this for the first time we looked at that damn bullet hole? Why did I just have to present it again? That seems like stupid. Like they couldn't come to that conclusion without it? Man, I'm gonna have to dumb down my thinking because I would have totally overlooked that. Like normally, I'm just trying to think of what we have. All right, here we go. Ha! What is with that are you finished yet laugh? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Von Karma? It seems that Maya Fey was shot at by his victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But, I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. We did. Now that you- Why, that's right! Ow. Wait, who was that hitting? I don't even know anymore. Which means, the defense is yet to prove anything at all. No. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Yeah, you do your little curtsy. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Well, the, how the hell did it get there? Ah, oh, why is she hitting him? Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. Jeez, she's, she is terrifying and beautiful. With the new information we acquired, add it in, of course. Huh? You mean by myself? You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ow. Oh, God. Is this how they take care of things in Germany? You guys can tell me. Germans? Chime in, please. <laughs> Alright, fine. Uh, what transpired? Oh, dude, this is long as shit. Okay, this is new. During a channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. For what motive? Of course, the victim used the last of strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up the opening 
took the victim's gun and ended it. I mean, that seems plausible for what happened, but we know that that didn't happen, right? I mean, we absolutely know. Mm, the scenario you have put together does make sense. Yeah, if like any child telling a story could get that far. I don't think so, sir. Well, Mr. Wright? Something's weird there. Just by listening, it does make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Oh, would you calm down, please? Man up. Damn judge. Judge Judy would not give a crap if I stared at her. Alright. I'm pressing everything. Fuck it. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. With what motive? There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. I didn't body strength, and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. Objection! What you gotta say, darling? You beautiful thing, you. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Maya Fey was in the middle of channeling, was she not? Yeah, and? When channeling with the Korean channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defendant could easily have been a match for the doctor. I don't think so. I don't believe it. She even studied up on Korean channeling technique. Unless she's bluffing. Damn. Like I said before, I am perfect. You kind of are. I gotta hand it to you, really. Uh, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Oh, dear. Uh, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. <laughs> he's, he's totally lost this entire thing. Victim had used last of his strength to fight back. Okay. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, it was pretty bad. How bad would you say it was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day. And afterward, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. Yeah, as you do. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness. What? Oh. She doesn't like this testimony. It's kind of weird. I agree. Well, at least we got that in common, darling, eh? Well, the two are fighting, the victim took out his gun. How do you know that? You weren't there. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, has specifically brought it for that day. Why do you think that was? And is no one questioning why he had a gun on him that day? But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. Alright, so at least they checked that. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? If not, to kill that poor nurse again in someone else's body. Was he that crazy about it? He was actually- or was he really serious about getting her signed testimony from a ghost? We all know that that wasn't gonna happen. It was definitely a precaution, Phoenix. You're right. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close- mm, Something's wrong here, for sure. This doesn't seem right. Weren't they sitting quite a ways away from each other? So you're saying the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but that's what I think. I don't think so. Mm-mm. I bet you this is where the screen comes into play, right? Because it was behind them. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. What? Whoa. Well, I'll just pan over to her. It's fine. Hmm. Bennett then picked up the opening and took the victim's gun and ended it. Do, do. Maya's never fired a gun before in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it by pulling the trigger. Even me? I wonder. Uh-oh. Now, do you understand? No, I'm not done. I have a feeling I know what I need to do. Avon Karma's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let me see something really quick. <sighs> Touch the check button. I think this has something to do with the placement of the bullet hole and the placement of the blood. Because the screen matches up with the sleeve if she was kneeling right low to the ground. And I think that's right. And then they're gonna say the blood came from the stabbing but on her chest and everything. Uh, I think I know what I have to do. I, I, I think. I'm not sure if this is right. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Alright, I think. Hmm. During the channeling, defendants saw a chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. Two were fighting. This is it. I think this is it. It's gotta be this too close thing because that's what's bothering me. 
I'm gonna do it. I don't... Do you really have to present this twice, though? It doesn't seem likely. I think we might get in trouble here. Mmm. Do you really have to show this twice, though? The, the line of thinking in that is so silly. Missing the tiny hole in this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. That's right. Eh? What do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testament. It's gotta be around that then, and the screen too. Did they not notice it? You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? Well, that's right too. Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. That's right. That's exactly what it was. Because they said that if you're really close to a gun, there's stuff all over it. All we had was the blood from the apparent stabbing. With something shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! But there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. And it went through the screen. Are we gonna get to that? Is that even gonna be relevant? That is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. What now, honey? I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With vishy-vashy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. They don't have the screen, do they? Like, they don't know that it's there. That's gotta be the thing we present here. Let's see. In the middle of the fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? Mm-mm. No, because the screen means no. As if that was even possible. According to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that, true. Oh. Oh, she's holding her boobs. Oh, excuse me. Maybe her bra just came undone. Maybe that's what that sound was. <laughs> Uh-oh, every time that happens now, it's gonna be like, RIP! <laughs> and they're freed. That's right, the defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. Hmm, that does make an awful lot of sense. No, it doesn't. I must be careful, I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think- no. It doesn't make sense. Because of the folding screen, damn it! There's a fatal flaw in her argument. Yeah, because she's not seen it. I don't think she has. Flaw? Uh, ow! Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There is. This is where it- oh, this is where it comes into play! She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. Nope. No. She didn't. She was sitting right where she was sitting when the gunshot went off. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. There is. It's this. It has to be. Eight inches off the ground, it looks like a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. <laughs> I brought an entire folding screen into court. <laughs> what is that, a folding screen? Look at this screen. I would like to point to the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Oh, there goes her bra again. Jeez, how many have you changed? You need to get a better one. It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Wait, she knew that it was there? How could she make this testimony she knew, unless she was hoping that we didn't notice? Who, where, what? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are these two really that clueless? Yes. The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, was actually squatting low to the ground. Exactly, she was just kneeling in her position. She wasn't doing anything. Take that shit. Order, order. But this changes everything. Please look at this diagram. Look at this diagram. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location, about eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Oh, 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 okay. Dun, 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 dun. Was she over here? She must have been.
wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute now. Hang on. So she wasn't over here doing her thing. Was she hiding at that point? Did something happen and she like crouched to hide? What if she was over here? She couldn't have been here because then the bullet hole wouldn't be over there unless he was like really diagonally. She was over here, wasn't she? She, she was behind the screen, wasn't she? Oh shit! Somewhere around here. Am I right? Uh oh, the judge's face is scrunched like he just smells some serious bad breath. Oh wait, no. Hang on. Oh, wait, I just realized I forgot to brush this morning. Excuse me while I freshen- Oh, gross! Come on now! In the meantime, I want you to think things through again, Mr. Right Whoops. Okay, I got a little carried away. It's fine. Whoops. What's done is done. For now, I should focus on where Maya was at the time of the crime. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like she was right here. But she couldn't have been, because how would the bullet have gotten over there? Oh dear. I don't know. Hmm. Was she, like, right- Hmm. I still want to say that she was, like, cowering or something weird happened. Here? I think that's right. So I was kind of right. At first I thought maybe she had time to go behind it, but no. It actually went through her sleeve first, then to the folding screen. They actually did say that. I had to think about that for a minute. Wait a second! We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But, how can you gauge the distance from that? Isn't it possible the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? No, because then how would the bullet hole get over there? So I was right. She wasn't even near him. She probably ran away. What happened in there that made her go that far away? He attacked her first. That's what. You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present, and that. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Look at this coat. Oh no, her bra's just gone full. It's gone crazy. <laughs> it's coming undone everywhere. Curse you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You... Hmm. I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing a ways from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? Yeah, it does. It changes everything, doesn't it? She was trying to get away. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with a knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Yeah, why was she so far? Squatting all the way by the folding screen? That's right. Exactly. If Maya Fey was the real murderer, why did she run? Why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? <sighs> Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. It took me a minute to piece it together, but I think I'm getting it now. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Oh. Oh no, gumshoe. Alright, with this, the rest of the trial should be in the bu- what she got left? She got something up there? Come on now, you got another bra ready? <sighs> You're such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to take the completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Mmm, you amuse me. Oh, <laughs> you want to get together later? Wait, what? Of all the things to inherit, why did it have to be that smarmy smile? Well, I mean, at least it wasn't his hairline. Detective... How dare you damage my perfect logic! Huh? How was it all my fault? You can start repairing your standing by first removing that three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured your punishment will come later. Uh-oh. <laughs> three-strand goatee. It does look like he has three things on his face, I never noticed. Oh, gumshoe your face. Well then, Yona, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Oh crap, it's Lada, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, criminy. I don't know if I'm ready for that. 
The court will take a five-minute recess. Thank you, Jesus. After we reconvene, we'll hear from the next witness. Well, that's going to be a thing that we do in the next one. What's going to happen? I don't know. But man, I hope I can get this. You guys were right. The... The, um, the difficulty really ramped up in this because I found myself kind of second-guessing myself already, and it's only really the first trial. So here's hoping. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this. We will go ahead and talk to Lada. God knows what she's going to say. I'm, I'm afraid of this. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.